see if we can make this quantity, 3n plus 2 over 2n plus 5 minus 3 halves, to be less than epsilon when little n is bigger than capital N. Right? So this is an epsilon n type proof. So first of all, if we do just the uh, combining of the, uh, the fractions by getting a common denominator, you'll find that after simplification that this boils down to become, I did this on scratch paper independently, we get negative 11 over 2 times 2n plus 5. So that's the quantity that we really want to make less than epsilon. Okay, so now notice that this isn't very pretty to work with. I guess I can drop the negative 11 due to the absolute value, and on the bottom we have a 4n plus 10. And that's the amount that I wish I could make less than epsilon. But if you notice, by making a denominator smaller, you make the fraction larger. So 11 over 4n plus 10 is certainly less than 11 over 4n. So in other words, if we could make 11 over 4n be less than epsilon, if we could make this happen, that would force this to happen, which is what we really wanted, simply because the denominator is even larger still. And this leads to a much more natural solution for the capital N, right? If we reciprocal both sides here, we would get 4n over 11 is bigger than epsilon, and that would force let's see, n to be larger than 11 epsilon over 4. So this inequality coupled with this inequality together seem to indicate that for capital N, a good choice for our capital N here, could be 11 epsilon over 4. And that's a much more elegant bound. It makes the arithmetic and the algebra a lot easier to work with in our proof.